friends. I thank the Global Center for Adaptation and especially I congratulate the dynamic CEO, the Professor Patrick Vakoyan, who is, and I also thank Secretary General Ban Ki moon, who is very committed on the cause of adaptation, as well as Mr. Faker Sabersma, who gave, who presented this summit. So thank you very much for having contributed to organizing this meeting on the financing of adaptation in Africa. This is two months from the COP27 in Sharm el Sheikh. I wish to greet the leaders of the multilateral institutions who are here present, the multilateral development banks uh, and the European Investment Bank. I also like to greet all the leaders present here in this room, but I cannot help but note with some bitterness the absence of uh, leaders from the industrial world. I think if we made the effort to leave Africa to come to Rotterdam, it would be easier for the Europeans and others to be here because they are the main polluters on this planet and they are the ones who should be financing adaptation. If they are absent in this room, as we can see, if the private sector is also absent and is one of the main polluters, this gives us a uh, an incomplete taste in our mouths. Uh, I have to say this honestly, uh, I am a bit disappointed. The Africa is a continent that is vulnerable to climate change and we are behind on our processes of adaptation. Africa benefits from very little financing and investment for adaptation despite dedicated mechanisms being in place. However, even if so, Africa pollutes the least, it is the most vulnerable to the effects of climate change. 